Hi, this is Carrie with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and we're going to do something fun today with particles in Fusion. So we're going to kind of revamp our logo, and here's what it's looking like right now. So we've got a background, we've got the text, we've got the logo, and we have some fog going on. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, so a lot of you have asked for more fusion, more fusion, more fusion. So today I'm going to do it. And fortunately, I'm going to be working in DaVinci Resolve 16 Beta 1. Everything I'm doing, you can do in 15. So don't worry about that. It's just faster in 16, at least on my 2017 uh, 5K iMac. It, it definitely runs faster, so it'll be a lot nicer to work in than uh, 15, but it'll totally work in 15. It'll just be a little slower. So, uh, that's all right. And if, unless you have a really fast machine, so let's get right to it. So here we have our, uh, our finished one, and we're just going to go ahead and recreate this. So this is what we have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new fusion composition. And I'm going to set my endpoint to 20 seconds. Unfortunately, right now there is a bug, so I can't just drag it to see what how long a piece is. So I'm just going to go out to 20 seconds. And well, that's not how long that one was. Seven seconds. We'll do it this way. All right, so I'm going to do a seven second one, uh, just so for the sake of consistency with the final product. Then I'm going to go into Fusion. There's my media out. And I'm going to start with my Resolve logo right here. And that's going to go onto an image plane. Now, for some of you who have been around for a little while, you kind of already know some of this. There's our image plane. And from our image plane, we need to go to a 3D merge. Uh, we'll be using this guy quite a bit. And from the 3D merge, we'll go to our, um, oh, we have to go to our render 3D. And then um, I'm going to add a merge node just in case I decide to add something else down the road. And oops, not rename. And I'm going to put that in viewer too. Okay, so we have our logo there. So first thing I'm going to do is scale this down and I'm going to move it over to the left side of the screen. All right, easy enough so far. Now we'll add some 3D text and I'll put in learn DaVinci Resolve, and I'll add that to the Merge 3D. Just drag that over there. Oh my God, it's huge. Um, so we'll scale this down, and I'll left justify it, and I'll adjust my line spacing, and then we can move it into position. And I'll go ahead and increase the size of this a little bit and slide it over and maybe we can go a little bit bigger okay that should work and I'll kind of line it up there we'll go to our extrusion and we'll give it a little depth just for the fun of it and Let's um, just add a little color to it here and our specular color. Oh, it's not going to matter. I'm not adding any lights um, at this point. So we'll just leave that as is for right now. Okay, so we have our basic logo going on here. Now we need to add some... Oh, we need the background. That's what we're missing. Uh, 
so I have this carbon texture background. So I'll drop that in and that's going to go onto an image plane. And we'll put that onto the Merge 3D. And let's see, we're going to have to scale this guy up. Oh, where'd our logo go, All right? Well, it's because it's on the same plane as everything else. So since I have that image plane selected, I'm gonna push it back a little bit. So we have some depth there and I'll have to scale that size again to match. And I kind of want this to not be so harsh right there. And so we have our diffuse color and I'm just gonna bring that down. I mean, you could get really, ooh, I kind of like that. Oh yeah, let's stick with that. I, that even looks better than what I had before. Or we could go with blue, uh, which also looks super cool. Oh, let's play with some of these. I'm, I'm gonna stick with that. We're not gonna go with the black. We're gonna go with this blue because it looks super cool. Okay, now how do we add that smoke effect? Well. I'm going to show you a very easy way of doing it. We're going to go to our effects library and we have tools, open effects and templates. And I'm going to open up templates. I'm going to particles and I'm going to scroll down here to smokestack. And wow, it just dropped it right in. And there's everything that we need. We have the fast noise going under the brightness and contrast to give it um, some variety in the brightness and contrast. We start off with a rectangle that goes to an emitter, puts it into some turbulence, it renders it, and um, outputs it. So we're pretty far along right here. But here, if I add this to uh, well, this merge, you see we just have this little uh, flume of smoke. And that's definitely not what we want. So. I'm going to go to my emitter here and let's kind of spin things around so we can see what's going on. And maybe I could pull my emitter down. I can move it up. But I don't want it to be this sphere. Sphere. I want it to take up the size of the screen. So I'm going to go over to the a region areas here and change it from sphere. I'm going to make it a cube. Okay, so far so good. Let's see where it's at. It's right there at the bottom. And let's take the width of this. And we can expand that width. Now it's not letting me go more than 1.0 on here. Well, if I just type in 3, well, okay, well, it did it. So let's see where we're sitting here. Still not quite wide enough. Let's try 3.5. Okay, now it's taking up the width of the screen. And I want to spin this around. I want to see where it's lining up with things. And right now it's a little bit in front of the text and mostly behind the text. And I think that will work out pretty well. Now I could add some lighting to this. We could do some other things. I've already covered that in most of the other, or in some of the other tutorials on Fusion. But this is just gonna be a very cool, fast way of getting this smoke effect. Now, what is the downside to this? Well, this is going to take a while to render. And when I say a while, I mean on my machine here, I'm guessing it's gonna be 15 minutes. To render this scene. So I'm going to pause everything and we'll come back when it's all finished. Well boy was I ever wrong. That took a whopping one minute to render on here. So let's take a look at it. That is pretty darn cool for something that you used a built-in template for. Now, 
one thing we have going on here is the smoke doesn't quite get up high enough. So we can go in, we'll go back into fusion and we'll go to our emitter. And we probably need to change our lifespan. So I want to get about three quarters of the way into this and there, we increase our lifespan so that the smoke lasts longer. And then if we get to the end, let it render that frame. Okay, so we're starting with a clean slate and we're letting the steam bubble up all the way to the top throughout the scene. So I'll go ahead and let this render again. You can see it's actually going very fast. Uh, I'm actually very surprised how fast this is rendering on here, but this is one of the things that I'm very impressed with DaVinci Resolve 16, um, and it's only beta one, is the speed at which Fusion works and Fusion renders and then the output is fast. And one of the problems we had in 15.3 was even though it rendered this fusion sequence, when you tried to play it, it would play back horrifically slow. Something about the cache just was not working. Well, now that's finished and let's give it a look. And we have a super cool smoke effect coming up through our logo. So that was fairly simple, fairly quick and easy, and didn't take uh, much time to render at all. And we have a very cool new logo treatment with that fog. So you could use that fog effect in a number of different types of things by manipulating those controls just like I did using those templates. And there, if you looked, there were quite a few templates in there for different things. There's uh, a couple smoke, there's some uh, burning embers, leaves, confetti, fireworks, bubbles. Um, and even if they're not perfect for what you want, sometimes you can just tweak them like I did to get the effect I want. And other times they're just good reference. If you want to learn how to do something, you can tear those apart because they're fully editable. Once you drop them in, you just saw all those nodes were there and you can sit there and learn how to do that same effect and maybe you want to do it differently maybe you want to change the colors or something else there was one called fly fireflies and they were green and I just wanted them to be kind of a white with a little shade of yellow for a project so very simple tweak of the colors so I hope you enjoyed this little dip into fusion and as always if you like this stuff hit subscribe and be sure and check that bell icon so you get notified whenever we put out a new video if you like it give me a thumbs up. If you don't, hit that thumbs down twice really hard to make sure I get the message. As always, folks, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.